It's time once again to talk about something that a uh, few people like to talk about, but we need to cover it from time to time here on Beyond Today. It's anti-Semitism. Hatred of Jews and anything Jewish and death to Israel and all these other matters that are, are continuing, it seems now, to be in our news, rearing its ugly head. We, uh, a few weeks ago, did one on the ma massacres of the Charlie Hebdo newspaper in Paris uh, where they were attacked and uh, some of the subsequent, subsequent fallout from there uh, in Europe uh, dealing with uh, attacks upon Jews, uh, synagogues, and all things Jewish. Uh, Israel has been in the news because of the Prime Minister Netanyahu coming and speaking here in his, his uh, recent re-election uh, to another term as the Prime Minister. And so uh, the role of Israel in this, in this world, the role of Jews, and these things uh, anti-Semitic are really talk, being talked about a great deal. This particular article is talking about uh, anti-Semitism raising its head in recent days on some of America's uh, most liberal college campuses and asking the question whether or not they are breeding anti-Semitism. Uh, schools like UCLA in Los Angeles or Berkeley or Vanderbilt down in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, uh, another college that uh, has had some ex uh, uh, cases of this. Anti-Semitism is something people don't like to talk about, but at times when it comes out in some of the most polite society and circles, people will perhaps have to admit or even express to their closest friends that they do have a problem with Jews or things Jewish or the state of Israel, which has become kind of the, the Jew of the world today because of the policies there and the Palestinian situation and uh, their percep the per perception of Israel in the uh, League of Nations and in the world of nations today. Look. Anti-Semitism has not left us. It is alive and well, and it is something that we do need to talk about, and you and I need to understand whether or not it, it resides in our hearts or minds at all, and how virulent a pathogen it really is, and even anti-biblical for all the, the obvious reasons. You know, a few years ago, I was on a, a lecture in Canada, and I was talking about uh, something in regard to prophecy, but someone came up afterwards during a break, and he, because I had talked about the Jews and the state of Israel in my presentation, he tried to engage me in this story that people have, that uh, the Holocaust of World War II, the genocide against the Nazi, or the, of the Nazis against Jews, didn't really happen. That six million Jews were not really killed. And I'm standing there just aghast that someone supposedly of sane mind can believe such an idea and would even bring that to me in that type of setting. I had just come back from Germany, from Berlin, and I had actually been at the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin that the German people have erected to the Holocaust of World War II. And I told the gentleman, do you think, do you really think that modern Germany would have put the, their Holocaust Memorial in the near proximity, almost directly over the spot where Hitler's bunker was, the end of World War II, in the heart of Berlin, its national capital, if they didn't believe the Holocaust was a reality that they had to live with. As I thought to the man, echoing the words of a line from a movie, go so crazy someplace else. We've got enough of it here. It just, it, it's, it's too crazy and ridiculous of an idea. And it's too evil of an idea for anyone to hold, but unfortunately, too many people do today. Something that if we're not educated about, we need to be. And so that's why we tend to talk about it here on Beyond Today for the reasons that are important to the world scene, but also for some very, very deep spiritual reasons as well. Think about that. SBT Daily. Join us next time.